today we're going to be looking at Matchbox Moving Parts Mix 5. This is extremely belated, but it still has to get done. So, yeah, we're just going to jump right in here with the 1995 Volkswagen Golf Mark 2, I think. 2 or 3. Um, it seems like they forgot the, the numerical deviation at the end there. I don't know how they forgot that, but whatever. Um, and here it is. This casting isn't perfect, but I like the color and I like the white rims on it. So figured I would get it. <clears throat> you get headlight details, marker lights down there on the bumper. You got your grill, Volkswagen badge, and then the grill up top. As I said, white rims, this nice teal green. That is a nah, gnarly pinch on my finger. Pinched my finger. Uh, yeah, the trunks still don't close right on this. I like the uh, tail lights though on this one. VW Golf Volkswagen badge and golf badging right under the tail light. This one has the opening trunk. It doesn't open too far, but it's okay. It's okay, not bad. Yeah, I think it's, I still think it's proportionally off. It is what it is. Moving right into the Ram Ambulance, 2019 Ram Ambulance. So it uses the Ram Classic front end. Now this is technically new to me. I don't have another example of this casting, at least not open. This is the first one I got, and then I got the yellow one, from, or the orange one from Diecast Car Guru. But I never found the first white one. So uh, yeah, this is a very heavy casting, because it's all metal. Uh, all metal cab, plastic base, a uh, cab and box. And doors, actually. Uh, you got your Ram badge, which is kind of detailed. You got your uh, black trim on the grill. You got your emergency lights. You got your headlights, you got your fog lights, or maybe more emergency lights at the bottom there. Black trim. You got your matchbox disc rims. Fire department, El Segundo. Ambulance, matchbox fire department. And here you go. Here's your moving parts. Maybe. The doors in the back to open up, which expose the interior. You can see there's another door molded into the casting here. It just doesn't open. Very nice livery on this one, though. It looks really good. And yeah, it's a really nice casting, really big. And I am very happy with it. Speaking of very happy, this is a gorgeous release of this Subaru Brat 1978. Look at this metallic. Wow. Looks like a bug or something got in there. You got blue metallic with the white striping, your white rims. No headlight details on this one, nor tail lights. Just get the stripes. Brat up there on the rear pillar. And yeah, this one though is about the color. I think like they got a little more paint on the hood there because it's. Got it some um, more sparkles in there, more metallic. But yeah, not bad at all. Love it. That's probably probably my favorite release so far of this casting. And I even replicated it in Forza. Oh yeah, and it does get engine details. You know, trying to get away from it. No, that's my favorite. But we do have two new castings to look at. First off, the Mercedes-Benz Unimog U5023. Mm. 
this is the one with a lot of talk about it. And you, know, you, you can already see it's got a very unique moving part to it, which is the entire body moves. And it's also all metal. Features a metal base and a metal body. All the silver here is metal, even the bed. Uh, this gray trim in the middle is plastic. But yeah, it stays very stable when, when it's on all fours, but then you can easily... This thing is amazing. So it's running the British Police livery, Matchbox Germany on the side there. It matches the uh, Unimog released in the um, world set, whatever they call it. And yeah, that's all this casting features in terms of deco, but you know, it's got really cool moving part. And it even, it even kind of articulates a little bit, you know, for more turning radius. But yeah, let's, let's see it leave the parking lot here. Look at that. Now you can hear it. It's better on the back here. All four tires are on the ground. So it just articulates and then that is so cool. And even entering the parking lot. Look at that tilt. That's awesome. Awesome. I love that. I hope we see more of that. And last but not least, here we have the Fiat 500E. Which this, yes, this is the E. We have the regular 500 in the main line. And we have the E in moving parts. First of all, I love this metallic blue that it comes in here. Very nice detailing on this one. You got 500 across the front there. You got your little grill down below. You got your little vents. And you got all your LED headlights to make it look modern and slick. It's still a Fiat 500 though. You got your parking sensors in the back here, which protrude very much. You got your tail lights, Fiat 500. And then you got some black trim around the rear window, but the main star is the color on this one. I like the uh, tinted chrome lip around the wheels. It's got like a pinkish hue to it. It's hard to really tell, but... The trunk doesn't stay open, but it opens. And yeah, awesome. And yeah, you can see why Tomica blocks out some of their rear windows, because or else you're left with some ugly looking hinges. At least they're painted. Sometimes the Tomica ones aren't. And I'm sure some of the Matchbox ones aren't either. This just happens to be a lucky one. You got your window washers. Very detailed casting. For a small casting, they put a lot of nice detail into it. Very happy with this. The color is amazing. It, the, the colors and moving parts are becoming a really big focus. And you'll see that in the next couple mixes. And yeah, we already have it starting here with, and even the last mix with the orange on the Mitsubishi and the blue on the Charger and the red on the Mazda. Great colors. So happy with Matchbox right now. Love it. Love it. Thank you all for watching. See you on the next one. Take care, everybody. And bye for now.